Welcome back to a chapter 8 review of physics. Um, we're still dealing with the forces in nature, and this time in particular we're going to be dealing with the force of gravity. The problem states NASA called, you've got an important assignment, NASA called and they want you to go to asteroid X to study the force of gravity. All they tell you is that, the ma uh, is that your mass is 50 kilograms. They hand you a bathroom scale and launch you on your way. When you arrive on the asteroid with a radius of 1,000 meters, you discover that you weigh 500 newtons on the planet. When you contact NASA, you tell them that the mass of the planet is what? Okay, for this, uh, for this particular problem, we're going to be using the formula. Force is equal to the gravitational constant times the mass of the first times the mass of the second divided by the radius squared. Now, the force in this case is given to you Actually, uh, yeah, it's, it's given to you by this here, 500 newtons. It says that you weigh 500 newtons on the planet. You do that using the bathroom scale. So we'll go ahead and write that in, 500 newtons. Okay, now, uh, let me rewrite that, 500. Now, the gravitational constant, which will also be given to you on, on your exam, I don't, I don't necessarily want you to memorize that number, is going to be 6.673 times 10 to the negative 11th. So this big G is equal to this here. This value is this right here. Okay, so, so far we have 500, which is the force that's given in our problem, is equal to the gravitational constant, which is 6.673 times 10 to the negative 11th times the mass of the first, times the mass of the second, divided by the radius squared. Okay, the way I want you to think of this is uh, uh, ma the mass of the first is going to be your mass. So let's write that in. The mass of the second is actually what we're going to be looking for. Uh, I wrote, it's actually the mass of the second. There we go. That's going to be the mass of the asteroid. And the last thing that it gives you is that the radius of the planet is 1,000 meters. And, we're, and you have to square the radius. Don't forget to square the radius. So if we begin to solve for the mass of the second, if we solve all this algebraically, we can say that 500 divided by 6.673 times 10 to the negative 11th divided by 50 multiplied by 1,000 squared. And that will be equal to the mass of the second. I did all of that in one step. I essentially cross multiplied. If it's multiplication over here, it's going to be division on the other side. Okay, so I brought this down, I brought this down, I brought this up, and then we're going to multiply it all together to equal the mass of the second. So let's do that on our calculator. We should be able to do it all in one step. 500 times 1,000 squared divided by 6.673 times 10 to the negative 11th times 50, close parentheses, and that's equal to 1.4986 times 10 to the seventh or 17th kilograms. Now, don't be concerned whenever you get a very large mass for this. Obviously, if we have a large asteroid or a large planet, it's going to have a very large mass. So, this is the answer to our problem. Make sure to put your units in as always. And that concludes this problem.